Hey guys, it's Alex and today's the day the T56 finally goes in. Gonna see if I can get that T56 in there. I'm not gonna show you too much of the process because motherfuckers, you know what a transmission coming out looks like. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with it, but yeah, here we go. Gonna get started. Jesus, it's seven in the morning. This motherfucker's already cranking away at the car. Got the trans out yet, fucker? Almost. <laughs> so in order not to waste your time, because I'm not the typical YouTuber that shows you, you know, a trip to the grocery store to get you to fucking pay, you know, look for two more minutes, I'm gonna jack it up and show you the last time this MT82 with 114,000 miles in it, it's gonna be in this car. As you can see, the Barton Hybrid 3 with the body mount is in there. That's gonna be for sale. It'll probably sell tonight, probably. But yeah, it's about to go out. It's gonna go in there. Ben Calamer built T56. And check out the shifter work that Harvey did down here, Power by the Hour. <clears throat> I told him to make me a shifter, <laughs> and he made me a shifter. You know what? That works. Shifter handle. That works. I don't care. As long as I don't break it, I'm good. I didn't, you know, I didn't have a um, Tremec shifter handle, so he went ahead and got this done for me, and I think it'll be great, and it won't break, and MGW provided the shifter ball. All right, we got the transmission out, and there's the Mantic clutch for the MT82. As you guys can tell, I am running stock manifolds. No long tubes in this car. So we're gonna take this apart, replace the discs. Here's the MT82. And something I didn't notice before <laughs> is the sticker on top of the Ford transmission. Ching ching, baba laba, ding dong, and whatever the fuck it's made. So legit as fuck, China transmission. Hey Ford, maybe next time you wanna replace this with a Ford sticker so you don't look like you got Chinese shit in your stuff. But she's out 115, I think, thousand miles on the clock right now. She served, she served me well. She won the Mod Nationals. She's good to go. Also, the Barton Shifter that won the Driver Mod event at Mod Nationals will be for sale here shortly. I guarantee this bitch will be sold before this video is aired. But I'm gonna talk to Dave Moses, see what he wants me to do because he did provide the Shifter. If he wants me to sell it, I'll sell it. If he wants me to give it back to him, I'll give it back to him. But I'll get with him, see what he wants to do. But yeah, good look at how the Shifter mounts. I had the body mount, I didn't have the uh, transmission mount and it was beautiful so it wasn't much of an issue so yeah that's what the Barton shifter looks like just so that you guys know and the Mantic T56 discs is all you have to replace on the Mantic clutch got the cross member got the mount ready to boogie you still trying to remember how it goes <laughs> So, uh, if you guys want to know what the difference between a sprung and unsprung uh, hub looks like, so this is a sprung hub from Mantic Clutch. This is for the MT82, and it literally has springs in it. When it's unsprung, it doesn't have springs in it. That's the difference. So these will tend to be louder, um, and this will transfer more of the torque. This will take some of the shock internally, and so when people say what's sprung versus unsprung, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, guys, I already went ahead and put we went ahead <laughs> and put the discs in because I'm not gonna film that because that's a waste of fucking time. But trust me, they're in. Donnie's telling me how he busted some Corvette owner's ass and he stopped because he's camera shy. So I had to look up. Uh, but the torque, oh look at this, he even marks when he finished torquing them. See, that's what you're supposed to do, you techs out there. <laughs> 25 foot-pounds or 33 newton meters is what these go up to. So basically just reinstall it how it was. 25 pounds, now we're going to slide the, we're going to put the bell housing on, transmission, blah, 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 blah. All right, bell housing, the SFI bell housing is in. I uh, had to do some Allen headed bolts because hex won't fit in here. Got new hardware on the bottom. Everything up top looks kosher, Allen headed everywhere. So now it's time for the transmission. Okay, well, Donnie figures out the wiring. I uh, just want to show you, it's in, it sucked, it wasn't fun, um, but we got it all lined up and that's what it looks like installed. The shifter can go in from the top like an old school T5, so that'll be last. Drive shaft hopefully fits, uh, cross member hopefully fits. <laughs> wiring get figured out. So yeah, on our way. You gotta wear in the clutch, motherfucker. Anyway, 
So, uh, <laughs> where are the clutch in, bitch? So, got the mount from Summit, um, polyurethane mount, mount from Billet Pro Shops. Everything fit real fucking nice, no issues. The only fitment issue we had was this guy against this guy. We had, there's a dowel up there, and that was a pain in the ass lining it up. But everything else, man, and the fucking drive shaft fit. That was my biggest fear. Drive shaft is in. So yeah, the uh, transmission swap is almost complete. Shifter, fluid, some wiring, and we're done. Now to bleed the clutch, because, you know, I could be a YouTuber, instead of like, you know, showing you drives from here to like Atlanta or something like that, I could spend a minute and a half showing you me pumping away at this bitch, but I have a little bit more respect for your time than this shit. So I'm gonna cut here. And this is how we do transitions. Woo! Boo! That gay transition. Anyway, uh, we're pumped up, we're good. Now we're gonna drain the fluid out of the MT82, see what that looks like, and uh, button things up and get going. <laughs> That looks pretty good, doesn't it, though? Is it supposed to be red or gear oil? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's... It ain't coming out that fast. How much did I have in there? Oh, metal. Hey. Oh, yeah, baby. MT-82 life. Okay, uh, T-56 shifters are no different than T-5 shifters. Or Tremec 3650 or uh, 3550 shifters in terms of their mounting location. Put this bitch in, drop it in. We'll see how the handle, it looks a little tall to me, but we'll see how it fits once everything is put together with the boot and everything. Well, what I have to do is get this guy to fit, but the threads are different. So I'm going to hog this guy out. It's just a spacer at this point. Put the knob on it, finish it off. It's a little tall, so I'll probably cut off a little end here and make it a little shorter. But right now, it looks pretty good to me. Throws are pretty darn short. Two, three, four, five. A little longer than the Barton, but since it's direct to the trans, I don't think I'll have much of an issue getting it in gear. We'll see when we drive it. Okay, transmission's installed. Shift is a little tall, but we can always adjust that. We had some shifter made up. It has a real long first gear, but maiden voyage to take it out for a spin. There is no reverse on this side, so I can comfortably put it in first and not have an issue and I stalled it. That's first gear. It's long. <laughs> you could probably go 60 in first gear. Remember, it's a 266 uh, first gear. It's got the Mantic clutch unsprung as you saw the difference. Let's put it in neutral and see if it stalls out because there's no OSS hooked up and I got a wrench light, which usually means it's looking for an output shaft speed signal, but there is none. Wow. Well, without an output shaft speed sensor hooked in, I thought it would be stalling because a lot of these cars have this thing called torque-based D-cell and it needs all these signals coming in at the same time to understand what's happening, but I hadn't stalled yet. I, I don't know what my miles to empty is because it probably doesn't know there's a drive shaft hooked up. I'd be in third or fourth by now with the MT-82, but not so much with this guy. Still doesn't stall. Go on the highway quick. The pedal feel is the same as it was with the Sprung Hub. Obviously, it's the same design. The Sprung Hub, again, doesn't really mean anything for pedal feel. It means more for transferring uh, torque. You know, it'll absorb it more on the clutch as opposed to the driveline. But it's a T56, so who cares? It's still in second gear. I'm probably going 50 or 60 in second gear. So, uh... Astro 5 and A5, 
that connected feeling to the transmission, you know exactly what I'm talking about when you come from an MT82. MT82 has a ton of slop. MT82 has a ton of um, flexing. Not the T56. Now, I'm not going to go wide open throttle and do power shifting because I got to break the clutch in a little bit. But trust me, when time comes to power shift this motherfucker, it's going to be on video. All right, I'll be quick to finish up the video. Now, it's the next day. We did wire in the output shaft speed sensor, and I'm going to show you why I'm going to get 430s coupled with the T56. Look at the miles per hour. Output shaft signal is wrong. I'm actually going 35. I probably we can go 60 in first. Yeah, so I can go 55 miles an hour in first gear. And that with the 331s, it's all jacked up. So right now it's only showing it's 19 miles an hour. Why is that? Is because the stock transmission has 32 holes and the output shaft speed sensor. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tune it. I'm gonna change it in the tune and we'll see if it all comes back. All right, I'm gonna be using HP tuners to tune the car, sorry about the glare, but I'm using HP tuners for a couple of reasons. It flashes faster. For R&D purposes, I use HP tuners exclusively. It just flashes in three minutes. So right here, I'm gonna make it so, cause it's got 331s. Reps per mile is probably going to be off, but I want to see if the speedometer gets a lot closer. And this used to be 34, now it's 12. I'm going to flash it, see if the speedo comes back, and that'll make it possible that I don't have to buy some fancy conversion box. We just wire in OSS, change it in the tune, see if it gets to be a little better than what it was. Okay, let's see if it works. I'm going to put it at 20 mile per hour on the GPS. Boom. So you don't need a crazy conversion box or anything. All you need to do is change the number of holes in the uh, output shaft speed sensor and it's gonna get close. I can tweak it a little bit. Um, let me see, let me go to 30 right on the money. 30 on the money. Ah, oh, dude, it's fine. I'm gonna leave it alone. So again, no crazy conversion boxes. Just change it into two and if your tuner's willing to change it with you, life's good. Alright, so there you go. I am sweating balls, <laughs> but all you have to do is change the uh, number of holes in the output shaft speed sensor for your speedometer to work properly. As long as your tuner is willing to do that with you, just let them know to change it from 34 to 12 for a T56 swap. Um, put the right reps per mile. Make sure you change the gear ratio for the transmission one by one because they're different and uh, you should be good to go. No crazy boxes or anything like that. It all works just fine. So. That completes the installation. I will be installing 430 gears because of what you saw. Hopefully that'll make it closer to, uh, you know, what the MT82 was in terms of gear ratio. And we're off to the races. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.